This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. You join me today, just around the corner from our first delivery. We've got a four load of pallets from uh, Melcourt in Tetbury. Um, so we are delivering sort of like topsoil, bark, that sort of stuff. It's all on pallets. I think there's 22 pallets, I think. And um, we are delivering to a nursery. Now, I phoned them up yesterday. We're only around the corner. Kendall Nurseries, I think it's called. We're in Waterlooville. Phoned them up and they said, nine o'clock delivery. I was like, right. <laughs> so can you do any earlier? And they said, um, sort of half past eight. I was like, all right, cool. Be there for half past eight. So we're just around the corner. It's nearly half past eight. So we're going to be there on time. Um, I am checking my mirrors because one of my pallets have shifted, I can see. It's ever so slightly protruding out on the back end of the trailer, um, but it's not falling off, so we're all good. We're literally just around the corner. It's not, it's not off majorly, it's just ever so slightly. Um, so we'll just check that when we, uh, when we get there. We're about to come off the main road now. It's all looking good. We're only a mile away. Then we just carry on. Nothing that side. It's ever so slightly just protruding over on the back end of the trailer but nothing to worry about. Today, oh, unless we go over big bumps like that. Today, we are going to London, as you can probably tell by the title. Um, and we've got a very specific route that we've got to follow in. Not for security measures or anything like that, but because of our trailer. It's too long to make the right-hand turn that's needed. So we've got to sort of, as we approach, there's the place we're delivering to is on the right-hand side. We've got to go left. Uh, and then sort of go up around the road, big circle, come back on ourselves so that as we approach, it's directly in front of us. But we'll, uh, we'll talk about that more when we get there. Um, it should be quite interesting. Just uh, keep an army trailer. We literally just got to go to the other side of these trees. So we could stop on the road here and uh, hold the traffic up, or we could just get to our delivery point. <laughs> it's all looking good. It's not like hanging off the trailer, I just the, the top end is just uh, slightly angling over. But no more than legally allowed, if that makes sense. But I've, I've carried wider loads, does that make sense? With no signage, because you can have up to a few inches. Right, let's go left here. Hordeen. Hordeen. That is where we are. Just looking at that pallet. Yeah, it's fine. It is, it is slightly leaning, but it's not hanging off or anything. Nothing bad. Right. Delivery is on our left-hand side. Uh, when I phoned up yesterday, they said drive in, and then the delivery area is on the right, but reverse into the delivery area. So that is what we are going to do. Hopefully the gates are open, because they don't open up till 9 o'clock the place itself but they did say turn up for half past eight for delivery oh it's quite a wide quite a wide turn needed for this one so we do need to be on the other side of the road just waiting for uh for the traffic to clear on this side so i can make my maneuver seat belt's off because I've got a blind turn. I'm going to lose the, the view of the trailer and there's a post there. Keep an eye on the traffic. It's all clear. And we're in. Hazards on, we want to reverse into there. Loads of room. No one behind us, so that's good. And then we want to reverse back into here. Nice and easy. Mm. 
Lovely. I'm going to park in the middle. I assume they've got a normal forklift. And not one that we can offload from both sides. So we'll just park like this. Lovely. Now we can get it back out going that way. Turn the old hazards off. While we're here, is it wheel string? Yeah. While we're here, we'll just quickly put our next destination in, which is going to be Swindon and Dorkin to get the toilets. That's, that's the ones we're taking to, um, to London later on. So let's just put that in. Right, let's go check this load. It looks fine, it looks fine. Yeah, so there we go. That's what I mean. It's just ever so slightly protruding over that. Yeah, just gotta be careful when we, uh, when we unstrap that one. It's still on the trailer. It's not falling off or anything. It's got two straps over it. Yeah, we're good. Large deliveries and vehicles. Yeah, so we are offloading now. Uh, he's nearly done this side, so he's got to do the other side next. It's all good, it's all gravy, baby. I've just walked past that sign that says deliveries here. I've just seen it, it said, we recommend reversing in. That's awesome. Because I obviously, I made a phone call yesterday to, um, to ask these sorts of questions, but if all places like that just had nice, clear signage, uh, large deliveries, we recommend reversing it. It'd be so much better. Anyway, we're just going for a walk. I like, um, I like walking around places. We're being unloaded down that hill over there. We're just going to go for a walk. A bit of a strange car park, this. Very angular, hilly. <laughs> but if it works, it works, doesn't it? Just walking back down to the truck now. It is a massive car park, mind. Loads of car parking space. Yeah. Anyway, another lorry driver's turned up. It's only a rigid. So uh, better get back to the truck so I can move on out of here when required. There's the truck. The uh, the other delivery driver is parked on the driver's side where uh, all the pallets have been taken off, so that's good. I can't get out there until he's moved because I need that to, uh, to swing round. But never mind. Right, we are unloaded. So the only issue is we've got this lorry next to us. Uh, could be tight getting out. Just gonna hang fire for a minute, it seems, but for me, I think he might be. I don't know, we'll... Uh... Yeah, it's a bit tight with him there. Give it a go, might be all right. No, there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna make that. No, no, I need to be where you are to get out. Just one minute. No worries, mate. That's cool. I am, uh, obviously, I haven't got a problem waiting. He's a lorry driver. I'm a lorry driver. we all got places to be. We've all got jobs to do. I ain't got a problem at all. Um, he knows I'm waiting. He's obviously going to be going as quick as he can, which is fair enough. But I do hate it when people say one minute and they're not one minute. Like, don't get me wrong. I understand he's trying to do something, he's got a job, and he's wrapping up a pallet, but don't tell me one minute and then take five. Just tell me you're going to take five minutes. And then I can turn my engine off, do you know what I mean? I can't see him being done in one minute. <coughs> anyway, from here, we are heading uh, straight back to Swindon. We're going to Dorkin, getting loaded with the toilets. I think it's going to be the big units, so it should be relatively quick to put on, relatively quick to come off as well. The... Um, the only thing we got to uh, contend with is, is London. <laughs> right, lorry is moving. So thank you very much. It didn't take long, to be fair. It is just frustrating when people say one minute and then they take more than one minute. I don't like it. It's one of my pet hates. Oh, 
right, let's get out of here. Even taking that nice and wide, it's still pretty tight. There's no way we would have made it with the lorry there. Not a chance. Okay, we're going to turn right at this road here. Clear on the right hand side. Clear on the left, we can make that. Lovely. So we've got a nice uh, one hour, 45 minute drive back. We have done just, a, just under two hours to get here. Um, so we're going to make it back ever slightly quicker. But then again, we're not going quite as far as our yard. We're only going to Dorking. So we are going to be on about four hours drive time uh, once we get to Swindon. We get loaded and then we've got half an hour break. Uh, sorry, we've got half an hour's driving time just over. Probably 45 minutes, actually. So we should, be have, we should have enough time to get to memory services. So I'm going to stop for a break at memory services. We need half an hour break because we did have a 15 minute break here. Um, we were there, what time, we were there for half an hour, but um, it only counts as a 15 minute break unless you have a whole 45. And before people say, oh, you can't have a break when you're on site, yes you can. As long as you are not doing anything and you're not working, you can have a break. And after I've taken all my straps off and I'm sat in the truck or walking around doing what I want to do, that's me disposing of my time as I see fit, and that counts as a break. So I have had a 15 minute break on site. I need half an hour break later. I will have that in memory services, uh, I would imagine. So yeah, let's crack on. Next time you see me, um, normally when we, where we get loaded, it's a little bit tight and it's all fast paced. So you probably see me, if I'm being honest, uh, in memory services after we've been loaded. If I can do a little bit of filming whilst being loaded, I will have a go. But I do like to show what's on the trailer. So yeah, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay arrived and been loaded only literally takes 15 minutes to load not long at all well, uh, just show you the load now so three pods one two three six straps is all we need lovely jubbly now kieran the boss's son uh literally just left just as i arrived so we only left 15 minutes ago and we've got one hour time slots he's booked in for two and i'm booked in for three so I've got to go park up somewhere anyway, so I'm going to go to every other break, figure out roughly how long it takes to get there, and then um, leave at a suitable time. Probably, probably be in memory of about 45 minutes, I expect. Okay, situation report is this. We have been in Redden Services now for 40 minutes. Um, we only need a half an hour break, so we're not on break anymore, we want other work. Um, because, I mean, we could technically go on POA. Um, we have to wait, basically. Um, we can't get there until three o'clock. That was the plan anyway. We're actually running an hour behind schedule, so we're not going to be able to, be able to get there until four o'clock. I turned up to the services at, well, 14, 14 minutes ago, give or take, um, which was about 12 o'clock. Yeah, about 12 o'clock I turned up. 10 to 12. Must have been 10 to 12. Um, so I can only stay till 10 to 2 because you can only stay for two hours before they start charging you. So basically, I'm going to stay here for another hour and then I'm going to head off to Heston Services and then probably have another break. <laughs> Give them a call and see what their um, ETA is on how long they're going to be before they're ready for me and stuff like that. So yeah, for now, we're just going to clean the truck because I'm not on break. I can legally clean my truck and uh, we're just waiting um, until we can go on in, basically. So, about Redden Services, next time I see you, we will probably be in Heston Services. See you in a bit. Okay, you're joining me at Heston Services now. We've just arrived, uh, just taking out of the time 12.57, so we need to leave here by 14.57. We'll put it on rest, why not? Uh, we're only 42 minutes away from where we actually need to deliver. No, we're not. 54 minutes away <laughs> uh, so we're due there for 
we are due there for three o'clock. Our current ETA is 10 to three. Um, so actually we should be leaving right now, but like I said, they're an hour behind schedule. So yes, lots of traffic as well. Got to contend with that. That's what's annoying me. This traffic here leading down because we're going to be stuck in that traffic all the way. And we've got to go straight across, but we'll see. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go to the toilet and uh, have a wee. <laughs> and just chill out for another half an hour or so, maybe 45 minutes, maybe even an hour, maybe even more, who knows? So, uh, some incorrect information, I said we got here at 12.57, we did, we got here at 1.57. My tachy graph is still running uh, an hour behind, because I've never changed it, which is still fine, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we can actually stay here till 15.57, uh, till nearly four o'clock, which is fine, because we are at the moment supposedly due in London for four o'clock, so yeah, hopefully we'll only be here for another half an hour, we can get going, hopefully, we'll have to see. Okay, <laughs> more delays, so it's now nearly three o'clock in the afternoon, uh, which is, we were supposed to be there for three o'clock, we're an hour away, so we won't be looking to get there till four o'clock if we left now, and they still reckon if I turn up at four o'clock I'm going to be too early. What it is, uh, there's lorries laying down the track work, so other lorries can get in and out, and they haven't actually put all the track work down yet. So if we all turn up, we're gonna get stuck, basically. So it's uh, a little bit annoying. Like I said, if I left now, I'd be there at four o'clock. At this rate, we're gonna be trying to get into London at five o'clock <laughs> during rush hour. It's gonna be mad. Um, and then obviously get back out of London as well. It's gonna be a late one tonight. It's gonna be very late. I do have to go to Tetbury and load up in the morning. I was planning on going home, then go to Tetbury in the morning, but now I'm contemplating it's gonna be like seven, maybe even eight o'clock at night, I reckon, by the time I finish. So it's a bit late, really, to be going home. So I'm probably just gonna go straight to Tetbury um, after we've done our London run. But yes, just want to get going. Do you know what I mean? Get into London, get out. But it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be during rush hour traffic now. The situation with Paul, things are not going well. Um, the time now is five o'clock. I'll be honest, we are on the slip road off the motorway, uh, off the service station, sorry. Uh, because, <laughs> well, truth be told, if we stayed more than two hours, we'd get fined at the service station. Fortunately, there's no hours for us to go. Um, so we just sort of waited out here uh, on the slip road. Um, so yes, we have got the green light. Well, Kieran's got the green light, so he's about to go any second now. And then they told me to leave 20 minutes later. So, about quarter past five, tonight i will be leaving to go to london we should be there about quarter past six maybe half past six depending on traffic yeah so kieran's going now i've been told to leave 20 minutes afterwards so we should hopefully be there about 20 past six um and then we won't be there for long imagine they get us tipped in like 10 minutes so we'd be leaving about i don't know maybe half six seven o'clock something like that and then we need to come back towards the yard. Just checking to see what time I started this morning. 6.25, so I can work until 9.25 tonight. Uh, yeah, 9.25. So if we left at seven, yeah, if we, if we left London at seven o'clock tonight, there is a good chance that we get back to Tetbury, because uh, that's where I've got to load up in the morning, I mentioned earlier, so I was thinking about just going straight to Tetbury tonight, doing a night out, but I'll be, I won't get there till like nine o'clock tonight. Uh, nine hours off, and then um, six o'clock start. Well, it should be seven o'clock start, so it won't be too bad. That's the plan now. So yeah, just sit tight here for another 15 minutes. Unfortunately, we've got no choice. The That's the main road. Well, I say main road. It's just the service road. Look, cars aren't going past fast. Plus, we've got this road, and then we're on this side here anyway. So yeah, we're all good. We are nice and safe. If we do get asked to move on, we will. But unfortunately, other than paying the services to stay here for another couple of hours there's um not much choice we can do okay it is quarter past five kieran received a phone call at five to five that is when he left it has been 20 minutes so i am now going to make my departure yes so question is like how busy is it going to be now like i don't even need my sunglasses anymore look now do i <laughs> how busy are the roads going to be because it's quarter past five 
we're an hour away we're not going to get there until 20 past six is what the sat nav saying i'm sure we make up a little bit of time on the way as we always do but then again maybe we don't maybe we get caught in traffic uh i tend to be under the impression that traffic normally um leaves london uh at five o'clock rush hour like to come out of london and then they go into london like early in the morning so i'm hoping that uh <laughs> the majority of the traffic's coming out whilst we are going in and then when we have to come out of london uh hopefully it's going to be quiet fingers crossed that's the aim anyway so uh yeah i'm gonna leave it here next time you see me we will be well and truly into london i'm gonna try and film uh well i'm definitely going to film like the the last sort of two or three miles into the place because then that's going to be the end of the video um but i might film uh more should uh, <laughs> should i need to basically if anything interesting happens or we get stuck or anything like that so i will see you in a little while next time you see me we should be in london see you in a bit yeah so we're still quite far away we're still well we're not far away we're only 4.8 miles it's not too far but we are still 40 minutes away but i thought i'd try and include a little bit of uh of London in the video as well which is uh, what this is here that bus was dispensing of passengers but didn't even have an indicator on nice one I need to budge over a little bit got a parked car on the right so I'm just sort of You've got to be a bit of a bully in London, or you won't get anywhere. Got to be on this lane ever so slightly to get past that car on the left. It's all gravy, baby. Now, I want to talk about... <laughs> I want to talk about fines in London, because I, I have got a fine um, for coming into London the other day. Yellow hatch marking areas. If you follow me on social media, on Loop Scene HTV, on Facebook and Instagram, you'd already know about this, because I've posted about it already. But uh, yeah, no, I've got a fine. My first ever fine for coming into London. Uh, I stopped in a yellow hatched area. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Well, shouldn't be stopping in a yellow hatched area. And yeah, you shouldn't. I totally agree. But it's difficult when you're such a large vehicle like myself. It's a green light, mate, don't cross. When you're in a large vehicle such as myself, it's so much harder because it's a red light, you can't go. Green light comes, you still can't go because the, the hatched area is uh, blocked. You can't, you can't get past the hatched area. Got a green light, you can't go. So, a red light comes back on, you can't go anywhere because a red light. The traffic then goes. And then, traffic from the right hand side joins. And then, blocks it all up again. Green light for you, you still can't go because it's all blocked up. Can't go. Red light comes. Then, then there's a gap, but you can't go because red light, traffic from the right comes, blocks it all up again, you get my point. No matter what I did, I couldn't go anywhere because either the traffic was blocking it um, or it was a red light, one or the other, I couldn't go. So in the end, I had to come to the decision, I've got to go, I've got to put my nose out. The whole point of a yellow hatch box is to um, keep the flow of traffic, is to, as to not disrupt the flow of traffic. Staying where I was, I was disrupting the flow of traffic behind me, you know what I mean? It's one of them where like, I was disrupting wherever I was. So yeah, I made a decision to go. I got my trailer over the hatched market area, but the, uh, no, so I got the truck over the hatched area, but the trailer was still in it. Got a bike coming down the right side. Um, so I got fined basically, 160 pound fine. But because I paid within uh, two weeks, I actually paid the day I got the fine personally. The company had it for a couple of days. Um, it went down to 80 pounds, so 80 pound fine I got for doing my job, basically. And uh, quite frankly, it sucks because there's nothing I could have done. I could have stayed where I was and then I could have got a ticket for impeding traffic because I wasn't going. Horns blasting and everything behind me. So it's like I can't win, really. So that's why in this <laughs> title, I've got fined for going into London. It's like these yellow hatch markings on the road here we're about to go across. It's just annoying. We've got to be careful going around this bend because our trailer is going to protrude into the other lane. We're all good, we're all good. <coughs> yeah, traffic's not too bad. It's flowing quite nicely, actually. Um, 
I said a lot of the traffic's going out of London at this time, not going in. So um, yeah, we, we're doing quite well. We're moving, that's the main thing. At the end of this road, we do need to take a sharp left turn, I think, was it the one at the end of this one? Overtake the bus. Yeah, we definitely need two lanes for this one because our trailer will be protruding. I've got a car trying to get down the left and a car trying to get down the right. I'm in two lanes for a reason. There's no way you can do the S manoeuvre without taking up some of the lane. So um, I could stay in the left lane, keep my cab in the left lane, and then the wheels on the trailer will hit that bell on the, on the left there. So I've got to, got to protrude into this lane ever so slightly. We're only four miles away, but we're still 35 minutes. That's London for you. Green lights. Okay, traffic looks quite busy down here. Who's honking their horn? I think that bus is honking their horn. Ah, we don't want to get stuck on this yellow hatch. To get another bloody fine. Can we go? Yeah, we can go. <laughs> I'm scared now about getting another fine. Mate, if you go, you're going to stop me from going. What? Cheers, mate. So, yeah. Head down here now. We're still three miles away, 25 minutes. Got the Thames right next to us. Happy days. Shame it started raining. It was nice and sunny earlier. Now it's raining. A little bit wet later. Don't block the yellow hatches. Don't block the yellow hatches. Can we go? Can we go? Can we go? We can go. We can go. We went before that light turned orange. Uh -huh -huh. We've got a queue in this to get back out, mind. So I'm hoping it dies down a little bit by the time we get here. But like I said, we're 25 minutes away, so we're going to be another 25 after that. So um, 50 minutes plus how long it takes to get tipped. So we ain't going to be here facing the other way for at least an hour and 15 minutes. Hopefully it dies down. It's six o'clock at night now in the evening. So we should hopefully be here sort of cup of seven, quarter past seven, I'm hoping. We'll see. Mine cyclist on the left. I'm just going to flash a couple of these cars around. Bloody cyclists. Honestly, they just come out of nowhere. You've got to be well on your game. You will knock one off if you're not. Just trying to, I'm trying to be considerate, like leave spaces to get in and out of junctions, you know what I mean? Um, I don't like cyclists undertaking me on the left side at all. Sometimes I deliberately get closer to cars that are parked on the left to stop them from undertaking me. If you're gonna go overtake me, do it on this side, my good side, where I can see more and like just easier. Because if you're in that one, I'm looking further away to my window then you're smaller. If you're in that one, you're bigger. Just how it is. You might be the same distance away from the trailer and from my truck, but when I'm looking that way, my visual aid is further away. You're just, you are smaller in that mirror than you are that mirror. And it just, it annoys me sometimes when cyclists just go on the left. So, yeah, <laughs> I do sometimes get really close to parked vehicles on the left that they can't undertake. Got a motorbike now coming down. We're only uh, two and a half miles away, but still 22 minutes so we've got a cyclist coming down the left side now he's going to all of a sudden just burst out into this road is he going to go for the overtake he is trying to go for the overtake i'm keeping an eye on him but he is going to get pinched because i can't go on the other side of the road and he come up on me first
just watching the cyclist because it's too narrow now for him to be on my left side. He stopped back behind me now. This is new, I think. Or maybe they just don't normally have the rails up. I delivered there a few times. Stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. Stay green, yes. What's that noise? It's a helicopter. I think it's a helicopter. I thought then for a second something had fallen off the trailer. Yeah, it's a helicopter. 4.4 metre bridge, we are 4.2, so we can easily get under this. Got a dedicated cycle lane like now, so everyone goes on there. Lovely jubbly. Okay, to the right of us is Vauxhall Bridge. We just need to go straight on down. We're only just over a mile away now, 1.3 miles. So we're on the final stretch, the final one mile. However, it's still saying 12 minutes away. Years. Okay, we're off. Clear on the left, clear on the right. Let's go, final one mile. It's very quiet now, I think. Maybe the last turning we make to go straight down so that we're on the final stretch. I think there's maybe a bit of traffic down there, but I think that's primarily because it's quite a narrow road. From what I can see on Google, with lorries going down, that could be why it's busy. I do need to be careful because I don't know whether I need to take up more than one lane to make the turns. Now I'm behind a bus, it's harder to see the turns in advance. So I just need to get back a little bit from him. Okay, it looks like I can overtake. Let's overtake him here. Yeah. careful of this cyclist, we are turning left. Zebra crossing clear, cyclist clear. Cyclist to the right. Okie dokie. Right, so this is uh, the start of the manoeuvre we need to take to line ourselves up to go in the correct way. So this is where it's going to start getting a little bit snug. Good potential. Yeah, that's a one-way street there. So you'll see, you could potentially cut through one of these turn-ins, but I don't know. I do think, though, that coming in at this time, 20 past six, is better than what it would have been if I were coming in at three o'clock. That's for sure. We've got a narrow lane here. A lot of those cars have still got a lot more room on the right they could have taken. cargo so I can get round. Don't block my trailer. Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. 
So this is the roundabout we've got to take a right on. Oh yeah, there's traffic down here, look. Oh, we're going to get down there then. That is narrow. We've got no choice but to just make it, I think. narrow down here don't kill the pedestrians Luke don't kill pedestrians that would not be a good thing fans pulled over for me <laughs> cyclist has taken advantage of that and just overtook him Okay. I am going to have to pull over somewhere. I don't think there's anywhere to pull over. Need to make a phone call. Hey Siri, call Simon PTL. Yellow mate, you're right. Do a loop. Yeah, alright mate, we'll do. What's that? Oh, is he? I did leave 20 minutes after him. He's a slacker, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> All right, mate, no worries. Ah, uh, All right, no worries. I'll sort something out. If I, could, if I could try and... Yeah, if I can try and park on this road, I might try and do that. Yeah, it might cause a bit of mayhem, but we'll have a go. All right, mate. See you in a bit, mate. Hey, Siri, call Kieran. Okay, he's not answering now. Yeah, so, oh, they're not ready for me. Kieran hasn't even gone in yet. Even though I left 20 minutes behind him, he ain't gone in. What up? Right, Geinger. Yeah. Uh, I, don't know. I might be able to park up here. Is this a taxi rank? I might just have to park up here. I don't really want to be doing a loop around. What's in front then? Blocking everyone up here. I'm, I'm on Great Peter Street now, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think I might be able to just park up here on the left, just put my hazards on now. Put the beacons on. You have to reverse in. Why have you got reverse in? You know. Have fun. <laughs> right, so yeah, as you can see, we're parked up. Um, We've got to go straight down there, but there's a lorry in there. Kieran's not even in yet. He's actually out on the road as well. Uh, and I can't just keep going around in loops, so I've stopped here. I am actually in a parking space. There's, there's bays here we're parking on, and you can pay for parking. There's no red lines or anything. I'm actually in a parking bay. Um, so we are good. Vehicles can get past both ways. So you've got cars parked up beside me here and a police car which has also went gone past so I'm not disrupting the flow of traffic not disrupting <laughs> so I'm just going to sit tight here for a little bit uh, and then find out what we're doing in a few minutes maybe half an hour 45 minutes I don't know How narrow is this? It looks very narrow. See about it's coming off because I do now need to start manoeuvring. Right, you want to go straight over.
Ah, uh, loads of room. It's loads of room, you. <laughs> right. Let's get these straps off. See you in a bit. Well, I don't know how much time I've got to get footage, so that's what I'll just show you now. Look, Westminster Abbey. Actually, Westminster Abbey or Parliament? I can't remember. Right, yeah, so that's the uh, Parliament, isn't it? So, anyway, we've got two more to come off, then we're going to reverse straight out, and then we're going to crack on down there. Load of jubbly. It's all a bit rush rush, but we can manage. Yeah, unfortunately, Kieran got the short straw. I think they're going to move these cones for me when I do eventually come out. Yeah, and then I'll just drive on down there. A lot of horns blasting. Okay, just one more left to come off. It's pretty building though, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Right, back in the truck. How are we getting out of here? They're gonna to have to stop traffic, both sides, but also let traffic come from behind, so I've got no space to go backwards, if that makes sense. Telling me to stop. I got one person telling me to come backwards and one person telling me to stop. <laughs> Make up your mind, lads. Yeah, I think there's stuff in traffic behind. That one as well. There we go, we got it. Right, speakers off, good to go. We can uh, put our seatbelt on. We've now finished our manoeuvre. Windows up. Okay, like I said, it was very short and sweet. We were only in there for like, 10 minutes tops. We were not in there for long at all. So there wasn't, I've got cyclists down the left of me. So there wasn't an awful lot of footage I can get or anything, but we made it, we made it. Look at these cyclists just going in and out of cars. It's madness. Madness, I tell you. Right, sat now I was saying turn right at this roundabout because it's nine minutes quicker, but I don't want to turn right, I want to go straight over. I want to go out of London the way I come in, even if there is traffic, because it's just easier. It's such an easier road to take. I might need to take up two lanes to get around this. Zebra crossing clear. Ah, now we can get around in one lane. Need someone to let us out, that's all. Just got a 
barge your way out. If I didn't see that cyclist, I would have squashed it. Clear. So I just had to concentrate. I've got cyclists both left and one now on my left, left and right, and uh, they don't think the trailer. The trailer is going to cut in on them, and they don't see it. Um, so you just got to keep an eye. You got to make sure that <laughs> you don't kill anyone. I don't want to go to prison. <laughs> I've only got one fine for coming to London. I don't want to go to prison. Anyway. That's uh, one delivery done. I expect we've got to take them out at some point or even maybe bring more in as well. Not sure. Um, right, we ain't going to get to We can only work until 25 past nine. Unless we make up a lot of time on the way. We might do, actually. We might do. Um, I don't know. It might even be a case of... I might make it to the yard and I might just stay in the yard for the night, to be honest with you. Uh, I need to do some calculations. I'll wait until I get out of London. There's no point doing anything now because... There's traffic ahead of me. There's a 20 minute delay right in front. If it wasn't for that 20 minute delay, we would definitely make Tetbury. So it might be that traffic eases up the time we get there. And uh, we might make up some time on the way back anyway. So I don't know, it's all, it's all uh, up in arms. I think we should definitely get as far as memory services at the very least. But I don't really want to stop in services, so. Oh, he's homeless. I've, I've genuinely got no money. I don't carry change. Got oh, sorry, mate. I don't smoke. Yeah, sir, I don't I, oh, you don't? <laughs> no, I don't smoke. Sorry, mate. Got any rice? Rice? You got any? No. Uh, I've got a chocolate bar if you want a chocolate bar. That. Yeah? Oh, that's my rice. Oh. All right? <laughs> no worries, mate. That's my lunch gone. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. That's all I got. I don't carry change unless you... <laughs> One day these homeless guys are going to carry a card machine and be like, yep, yeah, tap here, tap here. <laughs> no. You don't feel sorry for them. I mean, you see the videos though, don't you, of some people pretending to be homeless and they're not. But it's only a chocolate bar. I don't mind giving a chocolate bar. I'm not evil. Right, okay, hello everyone. We are just approaching Tetbury now. Time is getting on. Uh, it's quarter past nine at night, which means we've got 10 minutes left before a 15 hour shift. Um, so we are just about to make Tetbury uh, before our 15 hour shift is up. We also, uh, a couple of other facts, we're on eight hours, 33 minutes driving currently, so we We've only got uh, 30 minutes of driving time left before we go over a, uh, a nine hour drive. Uh, but we've got plenty of time before we need a break as well. But yeah, we're gonna be parking up real soon. Uh, we're just gonna head on down this lane. Fortunately, one thing we don't have to worry about is other trucks coming out. It's very unlikely another truck's gonna come out while I'm coming in. <laughs> but yeah, man, thank you very much for watching this. I do appreciate it. Um, so today we went to Waterlooville, didn't we? Uh, we got offloaded with all those pallets. Unfortunately, one was slightly leaning, but uh, it wasn't protruding into the road too much. It was, uh, it was dealt with. It got taken off. I do particularly like the part, or the, like the fact rather, that that place I delivered to had a sign saying, we recommend reversing in. I really like that. That was a nice touch. Big old sign that said deliveries here, large deliveries, we recommend reversing in. That's that's brilliant. So yeah, fantastic place. And then and then we had the London run. <laughs> we got loaded at about 11 a.m. or something like that. And it didn't come off of us until half seven, eight o'clock at night. So no, not eight, but it would have been about seven, I think, seven-ish. So um, yeah come off of us at about seven o'clock at night. And then getting out of London in the end wasn't too bad, wasn't too busy. Uh, I think it all just about quietened up just uh, just before I needed to come on out, so that was good. We flew through London on the way out, which was awesome. 
Anyway, and now we are approaching Tetbury, where I was hoping that we would be the first one in line. We're not. There is someone in front of us. Luckily, it's my colleague. It's Rich. Uh, so I'm going to go and say hello to him in a second because he's awake. Um, but I think he's only got half a load going on or something, so I shouldn't be waiting too long. Shouldn't be waiting too long to uh, get loaded after him. They might even get us both in at the same time. But uh, yeah, tonight, this is going to be my own. Pitch black outside, we'll just turn the lights off. Be very quiet. And uh, yeah, this is it. So, thank you very much for watching my video today. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you've all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, look forward to releasing the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please drive safe. Please stay safe. I will see you soon. Probably next weekend. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.